Okay, boys, 1.4 million coins. I keep climbing in coins. People keep asking how. People keep saying, how do you have the coins you have? What are you doing? Can you help me out? I need to make more coins so I can get more players. So today we are going to cover how to make some coins, how I've got 1.4 million coins, what I'm doing to get those coins, and what you need to do if increasing your coin count is something you're looking at. I hope you guys do enjoy the video. If you do, hit that thumbs up. Leave in the comment section down below what you're doing and where your coin, coin count is at because I'd love to know. But guys, let's get into it. Okay, 1.4 million coins. Okay, not, not bad, not bad. It's a good coin count. But there's a couple of things that I'm going to point out early on that is going to make a lot of sense. One, I'm not working the market, but I am using the market. And what I mean by that is I'm selling everything I get that is sellable, that is tradable, however you want to word it. Um, everything I get... It goes straight out. One, because everything in the market is super expensive right now. 77 overall, selling for 11,000. Well, not anymore. Now, because of this Panarin, they're selling for so much more. So sell your tradable stuff, right? 19,000 for 80s, just sell your tradable stuff. Everything I get, everything I earn, I am selling. So sell your stuff. And you don't need to sell it for the cheapest. Put it up at a good competitive price, it will sell eventually, right? We have waves where people will buy a bunch of stuff. So if something's selling for 8,300, but there's only a couple of them, sell them for 8,500 and eventually somebody, like a bunch of the cards will be bought up to you. So like, just don't be always be the cheapest, but be close to it, be a competitive price. And then next, the XP path. I have lost a lot of coins doing this, this early, like being done the XP path this fast. I have lost a lot of coins because I got, you know, tradable 80s, 280s. I sold those for around 10,000, 10,000, 12,000 coins. Now they're up to 20,000. So I've lost coins doing that. So when you guys do get up here, if you don't pull somebody on your team, sell it, sell everything, right? So that's what I'm doing there. I'm selling absolutely everything. These tokens helped me get a Jamie Drysdale. So keep that in mind, right? You can put free players on your team. And then also with that in objectives, you get a free Pierre-Luc Dubois, 84 overall. And now I get an 84 overall will. I'm going to get this will. He's going to go on my team. That's one less spot I need to improve, right? So that is a big part of it. Take the free players this game gives you, put them on your team, and sell everything you can while the price is as aggressive as it is. Now, following that, objectives. All right, they give you coins. For instance, the weekly competitive. This one is huge. And why this one is huge is because it gives you 30,000 coins for finishing it, but it also gives you three or four really good packs that you can sell. Like you, you get another 40,000 coins out of that. So your weekly competitive is like 100,000 coins just getting through there if you get a little bit of luck. If you don't, you're getting around 70,000 coins. So the weekly competitive is a must do. I do it every week, I get it done, and that's a lot of rewards. Now also alongside of that, these shots. Take shots. You When you get into the thousands, when you go to 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, when you get into that, you're getting 35,000 coins for shooting the puck. That's just shooting the puck. And then just getting hits, that's 35,000 coins for just getting hits. So I get those things as I get them, but that's adding, right? If I get 2,000 shots a week, that's 70,000 coins on top of the 70,000 coins I'm getting from the competitive moments. That's 140,000 coins, and we haven't even discussed the coins I'm getting from games or moments or anything else. Like the, when I get XP path players and I sell them, I'm getting coins from them. That's not even talking about that. That's just two things, 140,000 coins for the week. Now, then you add the hits in there, also the shots and the goals. That adds up fairly quickly. And then if you haven't done any of these, you should be slowly working on those too because they also give you 1,200 coins per time you finish one. Now, so... We've talked about selling everything because of how how everything's crazy expensive right now. We've talked about objectives, earning you a ton of coins, and XP path as you work through it, plus utilizing the free players this game gives you. Because if you look, my team is nothing special. I have a lot of coins if I want something to come up, but Eric Halla, free. I rolled him out of the BND set that you got for your 16 fantasy cards. Jack Eichel. Free by completing the XP path. Panarin, mentally broken, but free 
Took me three hours to get this Panarin. I got him done. But again, it broke me mentally, but I had to build myself back up and beat the beat the moment. Don't give up, guys. If you think you can get it done, stick it out. It is so rewarding getting this card. But free line. William Nylander. They gave you enough X-Factors that you got very close. And then through moments, I got some cards to turn it in to get the rest of the X-Factors I need. So, you know, just by building up that set with non-tradable cards, taking my time, this didn't cost me any coins to do. Matthews, I got him from the Deluxe Edition. Matthew Nyes, Early Access Deluxe Edition. Jonathan Drouin, earned him for free. Rod Brindamore, Moments. Ovechkin, I built that. I regret that. Wyatt Johnson, got him for free. Again, through the Early Access Moments. Pierre-Luc Dubois, free. And Mike Medano, free from the Moments. So, not bad, right? Nothing in here cost me coins or or fodder to make. And then when you come into the defense, Kale McCarr, I think I made this one for free with the, the non-tradable cover athlete cards they gave you. And then that was for a video, and I'm just going to keep him on the team because I've already put the expense out. Jamie Drysdale through the XP path, powered him up. We're good to go. Quinn Hughes was the cover athlete I picked out of the three Hughes brothers, and Coffee was the early access, or I think he was the early access um wild card and then pk suban is just a card they gave you so my team is entirely free and not bad looking and then my goalie is uh the two free cards they gave you one the hat trick player and two the team of the week player they gave you at the start of the year so like nothing here cost me coins i'm building my coin count off of slow progression earning stuff and earning through which brings me to my last one this uh this is what it is but moments, supernatural moments, when you do them, they give you cards to help improve your team. So 77s, 77s, 79s, stuff like that. But they also give you 2,000 coins, 2,000 coins, right? 2,000 coins. And then when you did the Game Breaker moments, you got collectibles to turn into the Game Breaker sets for a tradable 80 plus card. I pulled an 82 and an 80. I sold both of them. That's 50,000 coins, plus the coins you get from doing the moments, right? It all adds up. It's a very slow progression, and it adds up slowly. It all depends on if you're spending your coins or not, and I just choose not to because I'm building MSPs every week, so that's what I'm using my coins for, but that is what I'm doing, right? And this is how I'm building my coins. Another one, these weeklies. These weeklies give you packs. They're untradeable, but you can turn these cards in to exchange players and slowly work your way up to more 74, 75, 76s and use those to build. Use your non-tradable players to build everything you want to build. It's going to take time, but everything else you sell. And then same as these moments, these uh, team builder moments, you're getting one player from each team that's a 77 overall. You use those to build a card you want. That's 34 players. You can get yourself an X factor for that. You can get yourself a power up icon for that, but you also get two 83 team builders for free that's a good improvement to your team all you gotta do is the moments so guys that is the list of things that i had to do to complete the 1.4 million path that i'm at and i'm just gonna keep going i'm gonna keep going i'm gonna see as i continue to build msps i use my fodder first before i use coins because i mean that's why not but I also use everything that the objectives give me to get collectibles and stuff to get as many free MSPs as I can, which is a lot of work, right? So you do the supernatural objectives and it gives you collectibles to get the majority of an MSP, but then it also gives you players that you can use to build the collectibles to get the rest of the MSP. So that's free, didn't cost you anything. And then you use the tokens and you use coins to get you the rest of the way because when you power it down to switch something else you take half the coins back but that is how guys i did the 1.4 million climb and that's how i'm going to keep going until i get to 2 million 3 million 4 million 5 million and i hope you guys are along this climb with me because there is no reason to go out and get cards right now unless you're using untradeables because the cards that are coming out are just as good jonathan Druen is just as good as anything you're going to buy pierre luc dubois just as good as anything else you're going to buy like go use the free cards and save your coins for something big that comes out or if something big comes out that you want put your coins towards that and have some fun with that player but thank you guys for watching this video i hope you did enjoy it till next time ciao ciao